Hello there and welcome back to Build With The Boys. Uh, we've now got a roundup of all four of the 2022 releases from Row Life of the Book Nooks. So, mid last year they, they released four Nooks initially, um, which have been very popular. Um, with not wildly different themes. So we had Magic House, we had Time Travel, uh, we had Secure Densha, and we had Sunshine Town. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all four of them. Um, and then we'll look at each one individually. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like. Um, and then we're going to also discuss which one I think is the best one for a beginner. Um, which was the most fun to build. Um, and then I'm going to rank them in order. Which one I personally think is the best. And which one I think is the worst. Now when I say the worst, I don't think there's a bad one. I genuinely don't think there's a bad one. Um, none of them are bad. One of them has got massive problems. Massive problems that you need to be aware of if you're going to enter into it. Um, but even that one, that doesn't make it bad in my views because these problems are workable. Um, but just, just to give you an idea, because it is a bit of a landmine, because just because you see one that looks really pretty doesn't necessarily mean you're going to enjoy building it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it, it's going to be one you, you're going to love. But one you might have overlooked, you might think, well, actually... That one's quite fun, it's quite nice. So let's take a look at all four, and then we'll discuss them one by one. So here are all four of the 2022 Row Life book nooks, all complete. Um, now, let's turn them on. So we, here we have Time Travel, and then we have Secure Adventure, then we have Magic House. Now, I want you to watch carefully how I turn this one on. This is Sunshine Town. And that... That will be explained. Um, so here are all four. So you can see here we've got time travel, which has the mirror effect in the back to create what appears to be a lot more trends actually in there. Uh, we've got the steam train. It's got a beautiful top, this one, really nice, but we'll go a bit more into that in a, in a bit. This is the last one I built, which is Secure Densha. Um, again, it's lovely. And I mean, they've all got something unique about these. We'll go through them. This is Magic House, which was kind of a Harry Potter sort of Discworld fancy themed one. Um, and then we have Sunshine Town, which has got <laughs> it, notorious. We'll go a lot into Sunshine Town. Sunshine Town's lovely. It is. It's very detailed. There's a lot going on in Sunshine Town. It looks gorgeous, but man, has it got some issues. Um, so we'll, um, we'll talk about them one by one. I think we'll start with Magic House. Okay, so here is Magic House. Let's turn that one on. Um, I love Magic House. I really do. And I didn't think I would. Of all the one I saw all four of them for the first time, this one was the least appealing to me. And it's because, I mean, I, I, it's not I hate Harry Potter or anything. I like Harry Potter. It just, it's not, it's not something that I have massive affection for. And this is clearly, clearly themed to Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter and everything but name. Um, where you have these the little shops inside here. Which let me uh, go free on this one. Um, they look like Ollivander's wand shop, and it is it is beautiful. I mean, the one thing I will give this one it is ridiculously detailed. The windows inside this one are beautiful. They're really nice. Uh, the blue light at the back works perfectly. Um, the little newspapers blowing around. I love. So the detail on this one, I absolutely love. Um, I also like the top of this one as well. You have. This, uh, this eye here. Um, it is gorgeous, and it looks great on a shelf. It looks really nice. I like, a lot of people didn't, I like this brick pattern, which again, if you've seen the Harry Potter movies, is very Diagon Alley themed, as this set is. What are my issues with it? Well, my issues with it is I hate this. This, this I think, is too much. Don't like it. I've n I never liked that from the moment I saw it. This massive magic house, plastic decal on the front, not a fan of. And there was wood, you could remove it. Not really, not without cutting this off completely, because there is wood behind this, as you can see. You'd have to cut this whole piece off. You'd have to do so. It's a lot of effort for what's involved. Um, and my other issue with this one is, is I don't see a central focal point. And that's my problem. Um, there seems to be a lot of dead space in the middle of this one. So you have nothing really going on here. I mean, you've got this broom. But that's it. So you've got a lot of dead space in the middle of this one, which is kind of, unless you're going to get your head right in and look at these these windows here and here, if you're just looking at this thing dead on, there's no central focal point. I hope that makes sense. Now, I appreciate the window at the back 
is meant to be the focal point. But again, there's not enough going on with that window. If it was like a stained glass or something like that, I could completely get it. But it's just a blue glow at the back. So that's my critique of it. Now, I don't think that hurts it by any means. I think this is a beautiful nook. I think it's a lovely nook. Um, but that is my that is my kind of critique of it. There is no central focal point. That doesn't mean you couldn't put something in there. But I'd like to have seen something. just Because this just feels like dead space inside this nook. None of the others have that. This just feels like dead space with a single pigeon and a broom as the focal point. I don't know what could have gone in there. But I don't know. It feels... It feels empty. It feels like an empty nut. There's nothing going on in the middle. But other than that, I mean, I do like it. The windows are beautiful inside this one. They really are. How far can we get in? All right, let's see if we can. The windows are beautiful. The steps are beautiful. As like, so the newspapers are fantastic. Um, build wise, I'd say it's uh, it's intermediate. Once you've got past the windows, the rest is simple. There's there's nothing overly complicated about this. And wiring wise, again, quite easy. Because you have the um, you have the main light at the back, uh, at the top there, and then you have two blue bulbs that are hidden out of sight. So actually, wiring this one isn't that complicated at all. I mean, for the sides of it, we have it's very pretty on the sides. You shouldn't really see this though if it's in if it's in a bookshelf. Um, but it's it's a beautiful one, and the one thing I will give it is the the touchpad works absolutely beautifully on this one. No issues there at all. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's a solid addition. And again, I, I know this one's been very popular. Um, and it's um it's a good one. It's worth your time. It really is. Let's check out... Oh, Secure Adenture next. So here is Secure Adenture. Now, this one has a touch switch on the front. And there we go. Um, I love this one. I think this one's great. I think there's a lot going on. There's so much detail inside this one. It's insane. I like the water effect. I'm hoping the camera's going to pick this up where you can see the lilies... Sorry, the blossoms are floating above the waters. They're casting a shadow on the waters. So you can see them floating. It's lovely. The ripple effect's nice. I love the uh, the windows here. I love the signage. I think looks great. Um, the top of this one's nice. I mean, the blossoms are on the top as well. Um, there are blossoms all over. I like how the interior escapes the nook. It comes out and it's, it's still happening on the front of the nook, as you can see there as well. Um, I like the little cat peering through the window. Um, the tram at the back is detailed, and there are passengers inside that tram. It's um, it's a really nice one. It's a really nice one. The the mirror works beautifully, and this one's create more blossom. It's really nice. Um, the massive pro to this one is the wiring. So all of the wires are on one side of this nook. Every single wire is on this side, as opposed to all the other ones where the wires are on both sides or at the back or not on this one, just this side. And that's a that's a great thing. Um. Cons to this one, not many. I got to be honest, there really are not many cons to this one at all. Um, it was a dream to build. Um, I'm trying to. I've, I've got to give it a critique. I've got to criticize something. But I mean, it's it's tough to criticize something. To be honest with you, um, the only thing I'd really say is there's a lot of little little blossoms to glue everywhere. They look great once they're done, but that is a bit of a grind. Gluing blossoms all over the place. Um, Making the blossom trees as well was a bit of a a bit of a nuisance, but there's not really a lot of cons to this one. Um, I do like it. I like it a lot, and I have very little to critique about this one. I think it's a very nice one. I really do. Um, yeah, I, I can't I can't really pinpoint anything I thought was awful about it. I just think this was a really solid addition, and it is beautiful. It it the water effect's really nice of it. Um, everything is lovely. So we'll see the sides of this one. There we go, let's secure a denture. But it's um it's a gorgeous one. Uh, build wise, um it's one of the easier ones. I wouldn't say it's the easiest by any means, but there's nothing challenging. There's nothing really challenging at all. All of the, the construction is, is very straightforward. So it looks very complicated, but um it really isn't. It's really not. And um I like it. If I've got to offer a critique, it would be this. So the the roof in here is card. Um it's gonna dent. Uh, if, if there's any sort of pressure put on that, you're going to get dents. Doesn't mean that's a bad thing, because you can see this one here has got some dent into it. Adds the realism of that corrugated tin. I like it. I really like it. Let's discuss Time Machine next. So this is Time Travel. I'm sorry, I put Time Machine. Let's pop this one on. This was the first one I built. So this was my first experience of building one of these. Now, it's not Harry Potter themed. However, it has got 
a red steam engine, which naturally is going to um, is going to have Harry Potter uh, connotations to it. But it's not strictly a Harry Potter one. Beyond that, there's nothing magical about it. It's just a red red steam train. If it was any other colour, there'd be no link to Harry Potter in this at all. Um, I really like this one. Really like it. Uh, the, the mirror effect at the back is great, where it looks like the train just goes on forever. The thing I love about this one, and I'm hoping I can sort of get this on camera, is the actual ceiling of this one looks beautiful. Let's see if we can get it from the top. It looks stunning. You can see the effect we've got there. It looks amazing. It looks like an old train station. It's beautiful. Um, and the lights inside are really well done. It's gorgeous. It's really nice. I like this one a lot. Um, and I would say, of all of them, it is definitely the easiest to build. So the easiest hands down to build is this one. Um, for beginners, it's got to be time travel. All the way, it's just got to be. Um, and I will show you why. Because something else fairly unique about time travel is that this isn't fixed. So our train comes out. So you can take this whole train out. So let's remove the train. And that is what we're looking like inside of time travel. So you can see fully inside the nook now. You can see everything that's going on. You can see how that mirror is having an effect. Uh, and we can get a full look around. This is why this one's so easy to build. Because as you can see, there is nothing going on on these walls. Okay, we've got some arches stuck to them. That's it. On this one, we've got some arches and some posters. That's it. Um, so complexity is just not there. Um, the hardest thing to build is this one, and it is fairly straightforward construction. You're constructing it outside of the nook. Once you put it together, 90% of your nook is this train, and it's done. And that would be my main criticism of it, because, and this is me, you God, can't win with this guy, can you? Where I'm saying Magic House doesn't have enough focal point, this one has focal point nothing else. So this one, the only thing it's got going on is that train. That's it. I mean, I love, like I said, I love the ceiling of it. But beyond that, you remove the train from this, there's nothing else to it. It's it's an empty nook. Um, so there's there's that. It's it's a lot of focal point and nothing else. So if you're looking for a nook where you want to look around and see something different every time, this ain't the one. But for ease of build, definitely time travel. And it's gorgeous. It looks good as well. And if you are a Harry Potter fan, it's a Harry Potter nook. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, it doesn't have to be a Harry Potter nook. Um, it's a beautiful thing. It's really nice, this one. I'm very impressed with it. And there is the side of time travel. Now let's talk to... Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the one that uh, has caused all the problems. So here is Sunshine Town. Now the one that I've had more uh, emails, comments, messages about is this one. And I will show you why. Because let's turn this one on. Huh. Yeah, it won't come on. However, watch my thumb. <gasps> yeah. I can't explain that either, right? I've got no explanation for this, but... So, if you are one of the people whose switch doesn't work, what I would ask you to do is right now pause this video, go to your sunshine time, make sure it's turned on, take your thumb like this, and with the entire flat of your thumb, see if it turns on. Because that's the only way I could get mine to turn on. If I do this, nothing. Do this, first time every time. The other thing I had to do, because this is the problem with this one, I can show you where the problem is. The switch is behind there, but it's also behind two two pieces of wood. So there's two panels of wood before you get to the switch, which is too much. It seems like the switch isn't sensitive enough to get through there, but thumb every time. Finger. Nope. 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 Thumb. Ah. <laughs> so please try your thumb. Try your thumb, it's mad. The other thing I had to do to get this to work was, I'm conscious of tipping these up and around, but let's do it. All right. Is underneath this one, there is a panel. Let me see if I can get you there. You're not gonna see this very well. Right, this panel here covers up the switch. Take it off. It doesn't need to be there, take it off because it seems that it's causing a block between the, the switch. It's pushing the switch too far forwards, which means it's not connecting. If you've got that pan panel on yours and your switch is having problems, take it off, because you can operate the switch from behind with this. You don't need to. Take that off, and it should solve the bulk of your problems. And then 
the thumb touch. It's ridiculous, I don't know why, but that works every time. This doesn't. It's like, well, stroking does. But thumb, every time. Mad, right? No idea why. That aside, let's talk about the actual nook. Now, the nook itself is beautiful. I mean, there's so much going on inside this nook. It's ridiculous. The mirror effect works beautifully. Got the clock up there, the trees, um, the plants, everything. This is the most difficult nook to build. There's no two ways about it. This is the most difficult. Unfortunately, it seems to be the one that every first timer chooses, <laughs> which is going to start off their journeys with nooks quite badly. Um, because this is really complicated nook to build. You've got different types of lights in there. You've got the, the lamp at the back. You've got the light here. You've got the light in the ceiling. The lights all flow. The wires all flow through different places. Um, so it's it's tough. For a first timer, this is a tough nook to build. So if you chose this as your first one and you've managed it, well done. Be proud of yourself because this one is tough. Having built all four, easily this is the hardest nook to build. There's no two ways about it. There is no comparison. This one is the hardest, I'm telling you. Um, so if you've managed it, well done you. Um, the other problem you have with this one is all the other nooks have black and red wires. This one has black, red, yellow, and white. And then rather than do what we normally do, which is black to black and red to red, we have to do black to black to white, red to red to yellow. I think that's the correct order, which just makes things even more confusing. It's a difficult one to build. So what I love about this one is how detailed it is and light. I mean, this kicks off more light than any of them. This really does light up. With three different bulbs in there, this thing is looking lovely. What don't I like about this one? The switch. The switch is terrible. All right, the switch is terrible. It's a massive problem. This shouldn't be there. The other thing I hated was the painting. So you had to paint a lot of these edges as well. I don't want to paint. Um, I'm not interested in painting it. You don't have to paint any of the nooks but this one. This is the only one that requires you to paint it, which again doesn't make it ideal for a beginner. Um, I didn't like the wiring in this one. Uh, the thing I really don't like about this one is the top. The top I've never liked. It just seems, no, nope. it's not flat, so I don't like that. It's It doesn't really, I flipped these over. So I wanted to break up some of this white. It was too white. I mean, it was whiter than the Oscars. So I needed to do something. So I flipped these over. So you'd have the raw wood on the side just to break up some of this white because it was just, yeah, come on, give me some color. Um, so that's what I did. But that said, I mean, that's me. There, there are too many things not to like about this one. That was the problem. I just had too many. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like this. And it was the, the bad didn't outweigh the good, sadly for me, even though this is a beautiful nook, I would not recommend it to anybody because it's got too many problems. And I wouldn't want somebody, I want people to enjoy this hobby. I don't want them to look at this one and go, oh God, why did you tell me to do this? So that's my issue with Sunshine Town. It is nice. It is beautiful. I mean, if, you, if you've got the patience for it and you're aware of the problems going in, definitely do it. But if you are a first-timer and you're looking for a good nook from this collection, I'm sorry to say, but this isn't it. But let's have a chat about all four. So here we are back with all four nooks. So if you are a beginner and you're looking to choose your first one, my advice would be time travel. If time travel isn't quite your taste, you're thinking, well, I'm I'm a beginner, but I don't want to build anything too complicated. My advice would be secure a denture. Um, if this one really doesn't do it for you, this one's not terrible. So these three, I would say, aren't overly complicated. This is the easiest one to build by far. By a mile, this one is the easiest to build. This one is nice and simple. There's a lot of clip together. It's fiddly, but it's simple. This one's the easiest. This one, once you get past the windows, you're okay. If you're a beginner, avoid this one, okay? Build one of these before you build this. Or if you've been building real life rooms, you'll be okay with this. But be aware of the wiring. Um, which one do I think is the best? So for me, the best is... this one is secure dancia i think this is the best overall it was a joy to build the wiring's good the lighting looks good it looks detailed inside i think that is the best all-rounder i think that's a great one in second place i would give it to time travel 
Time Travel gets my second place award. Magic House gets my third place. Sunshine Town is my bottom. Because even though it is the most detailed and it is very beautiful, the the bad outweighs the good. And that's the problem with it. Um, so that was those would be my recommendations. Now, again, I'm not saying this one's terrible because it isn't terrible. It is a nice nook. It is good. It's just got too many problems. It just has far too many problems. And the amount of people who told me they cannot get that switch to work. Seriously, people, it's all about the thumb. Um, it's, it's too many. It's too many. So it's not like I got a bad one. We all got one that just doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. And then the painting and things like that, just nah. Nah, it's not there for me. Now, I mean, naturally, you're going to go for the one that's to your taste. You're probably not going to buy all four. Um, but, you know, I, this is this is my thing. This is my jam, so I'm going to buy all four. Um, you're going to buy the one that's to your taste. So if you are kind of into the fantasy and the Harry Potter and you're looking for which one out of Magic House and Time Travel, I'd say Time Travel. Um, but Magic House is still a solid nook. If you're looking for something a little bit more of this style, you've got to go for this one. Um, I don't, again, I don't mean to dump on this, but I can't. I can't in good faith tell you this is a great build when it's got all those problems with the wiring. I just I just can't can't do it. Um but those are our four nooks. So my recommendation would be if you are looking for a good one, not just the first time, if you're looking for a good one in general, is this one. I would say go for this one. I would say go for Secure Adensha. I think it's a beautiful nook. It's so much fun to build as well. There's no real stress to it, there's no overly complicated parts, there were no break broken pieces. It goes together beautifully. The wiring is simple. That's the winner. Beyond that, I would go for time travel because, again, once you build the train itself, the nook itself goes together quite easy. That is the quickest one to build. Magic House is a lot of fun once you get past the windows. Sunshine Town, I wish I could love it. If that switch worked, this would... Put it this way. If the switch worked and we don't have those problems, the lighting and the ceiling was better, this one will win, hands down. But, no. It's too... It's too flawed. It's too flawed. Let's have a chat. So there we have it. That's all four book nooks. Now... What next? Well, there's more book nooks. So, Row Life have released another book nook. Now, I assume the way that Row Life normally release things, this is the first one of four. That's typically how they do things. Things come out in bursts of four. Um, and they, rather than, here's all of them all at once, you typically see one, and then a couple of weeks later, you see another one. So, they've released the first images um, and videos of Fallen uh, Secura. Um, which I'm not going to lie to you, I was disappointed with because I've just built a Secura Blossoms book nook and now they've released another Secura Blossom book nook, which, even though it's different, I mean, it's a lot more Japanese themed. You've got the pagodas in the background, and it's but it looks too much like Secura Densha. Now, they look nice together, but I don't know. For me, this is my issue. I mentioned this in one of the other videos. What I would like to have seen from the, the next Row Life book nooks are more nooks that take on more genre of book. And the reason for that, ultimately, your book nook is supposed to go on a bookshelf. It's supposed to break up the books. Something to look at, some intrigue on the shelf. So I think if you looked at the, the genres of books that people typically read, I'd like to see a nook for each genre. So I would like to see uh, a crime nook. I'd like to see one that was like a crime scene. Now, I know you can get those, but I'd like to see Row Life's version of it. I'd like to see Row Life do a crime scene. You know, that would be good. Um, and be that an alleyway with the chalk on the ground and the police, that would be nice. Or if it was like uh, Agatha Christie, if it was kind of like uh, the, you know, the house and the whodunit, that sort of version of a book nook I'd like to see. Um, I'd also like to see a sci-fi nook. Now, I'm not a massive sci-fi fan, but I'd like to see a sci-fi nook because clearly that's a category of book that people are into. And what I'd like to see again is depending on what they want to do. I would happily take one that was space, you know, or another planet, or I would take one that's that's Earth-based, but has a spin to it, be it something industrial, like robotics factory or something like that, or even like the neon Tokyo that you get in Blade Runner, that kind of thing. I'd like to see that. Um, I'd like to see a horror nook, be that a graveyard or a haunted house or a spooky garden or whatever it is. I'd like to see that, you know? And then that can, if you're a horror fan, you've got horror books, it goes on your shelf, lovely. You know, creepy sewer, something like that would be good. Um, cookbooks. I'd like to see a restaurant or a kitchen or a cafe or something food based. I'd like to see that. Um, if you romance, I'd like to see a romance version of this. Be that whatever it is, be that a, a beach or a tropical island or uh, a, a romantic scene from a, a restaurant or a diner or, or anything, 
anything. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a church. I'd like to see, you know, a wedding one. I'd like to see as many different kind of themes as we can get. So when you're getting a second Secura one, that's one that's a bit of a, come on. Um, I, I kind of wanted, I want variety. I want them based around the genres of book. Because to me, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, I'd like to see one for study books. So you could have one that was kind of school set. Um, I, I think that there's so much range you could do with these that they should. Now, there is a world of booknuckers out there that are making scratch builds, that are doing all kinds of wild kits, and Row Life are not the only game in town when it comes to book notes. There are plenty of other companies you can go through, but I do have an affection for Row Life. I'm not paid by them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I don't get any discounts, stuff like that. All of these are bought and paid for by myself, so there's there's no... I've no skin in the game to tell they're good when they're not. I just really like Row Life. I really like uh, Roker and Robot Time Build. You can see how many I've got on my shelves over here. I've got loads. Um... So I'd love to see them do more, and I'd like to support the company. But if they're going to drop, uh, the next one is going to be almost identical to Magic House or Time Travel. It's going to be hard for me to get these, because I'm like, uh, I, I, I'll need variety is what I need. Give me something else. Give me give me a pirate ship. Give me a castle. Give me, give me something. You know, give me something you haven't done. Let's see something new. Let's see something different. Give me a city scene. Give me a graveyard. Give me, give me something. You know, give me a fairy tale. I need something. I need, I need something wildly different than these. Um, and I hope they do. I hope they do. But um, we'll see. Uh, beyond that, when those are available, I will. I'll get them. At this point, I'll say I'll get them. I will get Fallen Secure. I'm in no rush to get Fallen Secure, but I will get it. It will be reviewed. I will show you how to build it as well on the channel, including the wiring. Um, but something else we do have coming up on the channel, if you've been enjoying these, you'll probably enjoy this one. So I've knelt done one of these before. There are four of these available. At the moment, I'm building one. Depending on how much I enjoy doing this, I might build all four. But these won't be things I'll be keeping. These are things I'll end up giving away, I expect. But it's this. So that's kind of a strange hybrid of book nook and row life room. Uh, and these hang, so these hang on the wall and they hold your keys. Now, being a useless man, I typically walk through the door, throw my keys somewhere and don't know where they are. So this thing's actually going to have a function in the house. So my wife's going to be happy about that. So I can hang my keys on it. So I like the fact that the only have got a model is functional. So this is going to go to a hallway where I hang our keys on it. But there are four of these available. We're building the post office. There's a coffee shop. Uh, there's uh, like a sea themed one with like a lighthouse. I can't remember what the other one is. Hotel, I think, the other one. Um, but they're cute. They're cute, right? So we'll build one of those. That will be coming on the channel very soon. I've got it. That will be coming on the channel very soon. Um, we do have other Row Life builds on the channel. So you can go and see everything from the Ferris wheel to the Secret Garden music box to the uh, the Funfair rides to the robots to the everything. I love them. So when they come out, I get them. So if you've been enjoying them, like and subscribe and you'll see a lot more of these coming up on the channel along with the other builds that we do. So if book nooks aren't for you, I promise you we've got something that I have. We do very large scale model as you can see with the Iron Man over here um, through to the Ecto-1. Um, the Disney Dolls House, we've built a very large wooden Dolls House at the moment. Uh, we're building the, the Dark Knight Tumblr. We've got the Infinity Gauntlet coming up, a full-scale Infinity Gauntlet. That's going to be fun. And a Lancaster Bomber from World War II coming up later in the year. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support of the channel. Welcome to all new subscribers. And if you're not a new subscriber yet, we'll go ahead and hit that button and become one. Uh, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. And you can contact us with any questions you've got, even if it is, how do I get my button to work on Sunshine Town? You can contact us at BillandTheBoysAtOutlook.com. But for a final time in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. And I do mean that. And I'll catch you on the next one. Music